Okay, so we are continuing with generating sets. Okay. So where did we get to? Showing that the set generated by S is a subspace. So now they say, in addition to working forward, finding the set generated S from a given S, we should also be able to work backward, checking whether a given set, T, is equal to the set generated by S, or proposing a set S that would generate it. Okay, so if we're given... We're given a T, we're given an S, we want to know, is T... is T equal to the set generated by S, right? Or we want to, given T, just given, just given T, we want to find an S such that T equals the set generated by S. Okay, so they give us an example here. So the example they give us is, you know, S be the set with the subset of R3, with the vectors 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, 3, minus 1, 3, 1. The question is, is 3, 5, 5 in the set generated by S? So is that saying, is 3, 5, 5 a linear combination of those three vectors? Are there alpha, beta, and gamma that makes that work? So of course, this is a system of linear equations to solve, right? Which we solve with Gauss reduction. And again, I don't like augmented matrices. I prefer to write the whole thing to never to just to rewrite the equation down, right? So the point is that this this, this uh, linear combination equals a thing. That's you know the definition of matrix multiplication is it's linear combination of the columns of a matrix. So we put that like that. Then we have alpha, beta, gamma equals three, five, five. Okay. So this is the matrix equation you want to solve. So they they do it. Let's do it ourselves. So you do row two minus row one and row three minus row one. We are gonna get one, four, minus one. Zero, minus two, uh, three minus minus one, so that's gonna be four. Um, zero, three minus four is minus one. 1 minus minus 1 is 2, okay? And we still have the alpha, beta, gamma there. And here we have 5 minus 3, it's 2. And we have 5 minus 3 again, it's 2. Okay? Now, we could do... Ah, uh, we could do... Um, or we could do row 2 minus 2 times row 3, right? Then we could times row 3 by negative 1 to make a negative. Um, oh, let's just do this. Row 2 minus 2 times row 3. Okay. So you get 3, 1, 4, minus 1. That's the same. Okay. Row 2 minus 2 times row 3. You're going to get 0, 0, 0. And here you have 2 minus you have a minus 2 there, 0 minus 1, 2, 2. So this, this second row is saying that 0 equals minus 2, which is not possible. So in other words, there's no solution to the system. The system's inconsistent. So that means that this vector 3, 5, 5 is not in the set generated by S. Now it says, we might notice that one of the vectors, minus 1, 3, 1, equals 7 times 1, 1, 1, one of the other vector, that first vector, minus 2 times 43, the second vector. So one of the vectors in S is a linear combination of the other two. This means that a set generated by S, generated by S will be a plane, okay? because it will be a set generated by just two vectors, which is a plane. And the reason we couldn't find a solution to this question was because the specified vector does not lie in this plane. So even though this set S has three vectors in it, the set S has three vectors, right? But the set generated by S could be also be generated by just having only two of those vectors. 
one 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 and four two three because that third vector minus three minus one three one is actually a linear combination of the other two vectors, so it's automatically in the set generated by just those two vectors. So we have a set so the set generated by S, even though it's got S has got three vectors, is actually a set generated by just by even just two vectors. So it's a plane. Okay. Now that we have another example. F is the vector space of all functions from reals to reals. Let T be the subspace of all polynomials of degree two or less. Suggest the smallest set S that generates T. Okay. So you should try and solve this for yourself first. As with all these things. Okay. Consider S equal x squared, x and one. Then the set generated by S is alpha times x squared plus beta times x plus gamma, or gamma times one, right? Of course. Now, where alpha, beta, and gamma are real numbers, any real numbers. Now that is, if they say is equal to t, t being the subspace of all polynomials of degree two or less. Of course it is. That, that's just a polynomial of degree two or less, right? Okay. Um, now, there can't possibly be a smaller set, right? Um, I'm not sure how you'd prove that at this stage in the course, but I mean, you certainly no, yeah, certainly x squared. X squared will certainly be an element of three. X squared is certainly a polynomial of degree two or less. X is also a polynomial of degree two or less. One is also a degree of polynomial two or less. Now, one is not a linear combination of x and x squared. X is not a linear combination of one and x squared. X squared is not a linear combination of x and one. So those three vectors are certainly necessary. So the set is definitely going to have to contain at least three vectors. Okay. Now, this shows that those three vectors are also sufficient. Of course, there are other possible possibilities you could choose, other possibilities, other possibilities of, of three vectors, but this is a, a standard choice, a nice, easy choice. Okay, next example. T is a plane in R3 generated by 3x minus y plus 2z. Find a set of two vectors that generates T. Okay, so try and do this for yourself first. Um, and I'm going to try and do it as well. Okay, so we want, what we need is two vectors in the plane. That's all we need. Two vectors in the plane, but they mustn't be, they mustn't, they, but we mustn't have that one vector is a linear combination of the other vector. Okay, because then we might just get, a, then we just get a straight line. So one vector, an example of a vector in the plane would be, yeah, it's anything that satisfies that equation, right? So we could have x equals zero, y equals two, z equals one, okay? Because then you have minus two plus two is zero. So that's a vector in the plane. So we want another vector in that plane. So an example might be x equals one, y equals one, z equals minus one, because then we have three minus one minus two, which is zero. Are those, now those two vectors, they are not linear combinations of each other, right? Because they're not scaling mul multiples of each other. So this set will certainly generate t, because it's two vectors that are in the plane that are not mul multiples of each other, and so that generates the whole plane. Okay, and that's it.